of the Piscataquis County Emergency Management Agency. This shows Bates Road in Abbott early this morning. Uh, officials say the road is closed because of the obvious reason right here, flooding and washouts. They're urging drivers be careful. They say the water draining off from higher elevations will continue to cause flooding issues today, even after the rain stops, but they're not. May, may not be for a while. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot mm. of uh, downpour still around. The good news is they're not organized anymore. So yeah, yesterday was a clear yeah, line across. Last the state. night, if you looked at the radar, it was just it was set up, and that was a problem. Yeah. So I told you the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont had some really incredible really bad flooding stuff coming out there. Of there. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit more prone to it because of the way that their mountains funnel in. But uh, anyways, we do have still some showers out there. The good news is the heaviest stuff in the state right now is over the coast, which really didn't get that much rain. Yeah, um, you know, last night, a lot of the evening along the coast was quiet and it was raining in the mountains and foothills. And here's a couple downpours moving through Eastport and Machias area, but those are racing away. That's the other thing is the steering flow today is faster. So if you get a quick downpour, it moves. That's really essential. A big part of flooding is usually a slow steering flow in the atmosphere. And so um, cells sit over one spot over and over again. You can see a few more again, insult to injury in the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont into the Champlain Valley where they had a ton of rain last night. We're clearing out over southern and western Maine. I thought we would. I think it's going to be a really hot afternoon here. Temperatures are already into the upper 80s in a lot of spots just with that break of sunshine. And it's cliche, but it's true. It's not really the temperature that's the problem. These dew points are tremendous. 75 in Portland, 75 in Sanford, 74 in Augusta. Really, really sticky stuff. Um, and it doesn't break until you get to about Caribou where the dew point is 63. So will stay soupy through the rest of today. I think these temperatures are too cool. We're already above them in a lot of cases. So some low 90s this afternoon, meeting the heat indices will be 100 or a little bit more for a few hours this afternoon. There's those downpours, a few of them again for sure. Wouldn't shock me to see a quick flash flood warning if, if any of these are heavy enough, but I don't think we're gonna have any widespread issues because there's just not as much organization to these cells and they're again moving faster. Tonight is a really mild night. This is uh, 2 a.m. and it's 74 in Portland, 72 in Sanford, 70 in Lewiston. So dew points stay high, temperatures stay high tonight with an isolated shower. And then tomorrow looks like a hot and humid summer day. Uh, there's an isolated afternoon shower, but I think we're mostly in the mid and upper 80s with a couple of the low 90s out there. Now Saturday is a little sketchy in the morning along the coast. I think we could see not only clouds, but a couple of showers here through the first few hours. This is 8 a.m. But I believe that we're able to clear this out of here by late morning and we do better over western Maine throughout the day. And once again, mid to upper 80s, high dew points, some low 90s. So just kind of that's where we're at here. Sunday may be the better of the two weekend days just by hair because I don't think we deal with the morning clouds and showers along the coastline on Sunday, but they're both really pleasant days. Um, I think the more 90s around likely on Sunday. And then we go into next week and what I see here is just heat with pop up thunderstorms in the afternoon. That's how I would interpret those pulses up and down here in the precipitation. So yeah, just kind of cruising if you don't mind the heat. And if you do, not a whole lot we can do about our average high down here, us up here, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Maybe our next chance of significant rain is next Thursday. Maybe it's not too clear. Um, so yeah, you'll see a lot of 90s in there. I think we have a chance for official heat wave in a couple spots. Remember that's 90 or above for three days consecutively. Best chance would be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but I wouldn't be shocked if we eke one or two of them out on Saturday, Sunday as well. Um, I don't know if it matters. Either way, it's hot. <laughs> um, and again, the dew points remain, if not as bad as today, they're probably close to 70 through this stretch. Today's 75. And I would love for you to tell me if you can tell the huge difference, the difference when you're outside. I mean, it's a little bit less annoying, but we're going to stay elevated there. Mentally, I just keep telling myself, this is yeah. the worst of it. And this is, down, so. I mean, August can Very be pretty small. hot too. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Here yeah, we go. Yeah. Summer is on. All right.